guys, this is Kelly. Um, I wanted to do my OPI nail polish collection, which is really fun. Okay, so first of all, they're all, by the way, just so you know, I'm not trying to be rude when I'm, you know, reaching over the camera like this and stuff, but all of my <laughs> nail polish is back here on across my entire windowsill, and it looks really cool. Um, I have a traditional... Um, black one. It's um, Lincoln Park After Dark and I love it because it's got that like purple, I guess purple tone. You can see the purple tone. It's really pretty. And then this one is Midnight in Moscow, which I've not been able to find anymore, which is so sad because I was born in Russia and it's the prettiest brown. It is so pretty for fall and it has this golden tone in it and oh, it's so pretty. But I haven't been able to find it anywhere, and I keep asking my nearest stores, and they just don't know if we're ever going to have it again, and I'm just, like, really bummed. Um, then I have this, which is, I guess, like, more of a wine color. It looks like wine. Um, and actually, the name of it is Blocked Off. So I don't know what it is, but it just looks like a wine. So... I'm just going to call this wine. Then I have this red one, and it is O'Hara and Nails Looks Great is the name of it, and it is so pretty. It is like bright, bright, bright classic red. So every collection needs to have like traditional red, traditional black. This is my traditional red, and it is, look at that color. It is so pretty. Then I have this ridiculous orange copper color, and... It is called Take the Stage. Um, I believe it's 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 in the um, share collection actually, and I have not seen it anywhere. I got two bottles of this um, because I have not seen it anywhere, and it's really flashy, but I love it just for like fun date night out to like North Hollywood kind of night out. Um, then I have an even wilder color, which makes me laugh. Um, it is purple. <gasps> Look at that. It is ridiculous, right? And, um, it is called Purple with a Purpose. And it's kind of more of a metallic purple, and it's got blue tones in it, which I really like. Um, my boyfriend, um, likes this one a lot. So it's just kind of fun and different. And then I have the weirdest color of all. And I call it Granny Smith Apple because it is the color of Granny Smith Apples. But it's a little bit brighter and it is just, my gosh, it is the weirdest color I've ever seen. And it's called Green Witch Village. So maybe think of Wicked when I wear this. I don't know. But um, my chinchilla is making the weirdest noises. Hi. You will have to meet him. He is Oh my gosh, adorable. I do have a chinchilla. He's four years old and I got him last May. And anyways, back to the nail polish. <laughs> so, Granny Smith Apple, but oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I get a lot of compliments on this when I wear it during the summer on my toes. Then, the color I'm currently wearing, I have very short nails today, but I had to kind of chop them down and start over. But... Whatever. I mean, you got to do that every now and then. But these are my nails today. I know I'm wearing Aboriginal. This is Aboriginal. And it is um, kind of like a coral. That is the best way to describe this color. It is a coral color. And all I did was put another color over the top. So I mix both of these colors together. And that is what they look like together. It, these two colors look like that when you overlap these two colors. So this one is Aboriginal, and then this is called This Little Piggy, and that's what I use as a glittery top coat for these nails. And it's just simple and pretty. And then I have this bright hot pink one, and it's called Ladies and Magentamen. Really cute color. Um, simple, you know, not too much. I dropped my next color. I have this very nude, neutral tone, really pretty. Um, it's just called Chocolate Shakespeare. 
Um, I like it just for work and business meetings. It's just very brown, pretty, neutral, golden tones in it. Um, it has a little shimmer to it. I like it. Then I do have a gold one. This one is very ridiculous. It is very, very gold. Um, and sadly, the sticker came off, and I do not know the name of this one. I believe it was Goldilocks. I'm almost positive it was called Goldilocks a long time ago um, when I bought it. Um, it's just very, very, very shimmery. I don't know if you can see that. Very shimmery. But, yeah. Anyways. Next, I have... Um, Another neutral one. This is more of a nude neutral, I guess. I mean, it's very nude. It kind of is a little lighter than my skin. Um, maybe a khaki nude. Um, it's just called Tickle My Fancy. And it looks very nice with like a business suit or whatever. Um, good for church, not a bright color or anything. And then I do have one last, uh, or no, a couple of last ones. Um... I have hearts and tarts. I got this one this Valentine's Day in the clearance, and I got it for like $4, and it's a very pretty pink. It's hard to tell. I Like, it matches my skin tone, um, but it's great for French tips. Um, I mean, it's really pretty. Um, it's just a very light, like, delicate pink, but what I like about it is it's just a very, like, opaque so you can layer with it, and I like to do um, this, the Tickle My Francy, and then this is a top coat, and it just gives a little shimmer. Then I have, like, the top coat, the top coat of OPI, which is insane. It's really strong, and I have very weak nails. And then I have OPI's Nail Strengthener. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. There you go. Nail Strengthener, and... Um, this I got with OPI Drip Dry, which I'm out of, and it is my favorite product. You drop a couple of drops per nail, um, and your nails are just dry. My hair looks so weird. I have too much hair. Okay. Then um, this I use as a base. It's just by Sally Hansen, um, Hard as Nails. And I use this because I have such brittle nails. I use this under all my OPIs, and I just got a new one. Yay! So... And it's kind of pink. It's pretty. And then I have my minis. And um, this was from the Brule, um, Brule set. It's called Brule, which is really bizarre. It came with this weird copper one, and I do not know the name of it. And then it came with this one. This is Ruby Razzle, and it's just kind of like a raspberry. It is raspberry color. And then I got a glittery, glittery classic red, but it's got like glitter like no other in it. So can you see that? It's really pretty. I call it like like Dorothy's slippers. That's what it's like um, from Wizard of Oz. And then I got this flashy metallic gold in it too, and it is like not like my other gold. See these two? This is much golder. This is more delicate. So... Anyways, um, that is the last one, and I don't know the name of it. Um, I kind of threw the box away a while ago. So that is my OPI nail collection. I have tons more of um, nail polishes, um, but my favorite is OPI, so I'm constantly adding to my collection. I just threw three others away, which made me very sad, but they were gone. I mean, just dead. Um, but... I like to have every color of the rainbow. I mean, I have yellows, golds, pinks, tones. I have, like, neutrals. I have very flashy wild colors to very neutral pinks and delicate browns. And, um, like, my favorite by Essie is Little Brown Dress. That one is the prettiest. It's the color of a Hershey Kiss. But I'll do another makeup video so you guys can, um, I mean, nail polish video so you guys can see what my other nail polishes are. And I just hope that you guys like it, and I will see you guys later. All right, bye.